Hi everyone, so today's video is probably a bit scrappy because this is my last day today in this home. So just want to kind of do this quick recording. So I found this uh, questions on Reddit. So basically Viking Oi, like he mentioned that, how can it be that once that editing tool like this completely lacks the ability to left center, right adjust text? I mean, this is exactly rocket science. So he's mentioning about the notion capabilities on how you can kind of adjust it. Kind of like if you're used to like Word documents, kind of indent to left, middle, right. So it doesn't work kind of the same as a Word document, but there are ways on how you can do this. So I'm going to show you how. So now that we're in Notion, so I've created this document just to show you examples of how things can be done. So here we actually have this uh, something called left centering. So basically, uh, we create two centering here. So one, I have this images here, and then here I have this uh, cookie recipe. So basically how this can be done is uh, it's fairly simple, but it's actually definitely not intuitive when I first started using Notion. So how I did this is I just use this slash columns. So just select slash two columns. And then you can see if I just type in here, right? So, uh, okay. So yeah, this is a bit confusing as well because I'm creating under it. So yeah, you can see it's not the most intuitive, but I kind of want to see the lines you can see this is middle, right? Okay, so another one come from this middle. So let's create two column. So the, the good thing about this two columns, right, is it automatically just create a, a standard like layout for you. And then here now I can put like image here and then just put another one and then just kind of copy the cookie recipe from this one and then just put it back here. And then there you have it. This kind of how you can center to the you know, left and right. And then next we have actually something called middle centering. So let me just delete this. So here you can see we have a database here and then I want this button to be like in the middle, right? So it doesn't look like kind of ugly. So I can but basically what I click in, I can okay, just click this, so it kind of looks more aesthetically pleasing instead of like having to the left side, left side, which is actually the default on how it will happen. So I'm just kind of show you how it normally happens. Uh, so buttons, so you can see that by default, like buttons just there, like it kind of doesn't look nice. So you want to kind of center it. So how can you can do centering, right? Is that, so instead of two columns, you basically create three columns here. So three. So if I just type it one, two, one, two, three, so you can kind of see there's actually three columns here. And the next step, you probably can guess it now. So we just create a button here. So I can select on a click to create a new button or something like that. And then now you can kind of see, I don't see the text anymore, right? This is kind of how you can adjust it. So you can see like, you can kind of adjust it like that. So to make sure that it's kind of in the middle and then kind of after that, you can just delete the text. So that doesn't show up. So basically that's it. So that's how you can kind of center the, the buttons in the middle. So yeah, and then the third part is on, if you notice here, it's actually widened. So by default, when you create a database, right? I'm not sure if uh, it's a bit obvious. Let me just create a new one. So by default, when you create a, it can be a table board, right? You can see like it's kind of small, right? So this is only the space it's given because we're kind of using, um, what do you call this mode again? So we are not using the widescreen mode, right? So you're kind of limited, but there's a, actually a trick you can do this. So you can see from here, right? So the board view here, so what I have is that I can actually expand this until the end, like uh, this is probably the most, I guess. So you can actually extend like more than the original size is allowed to. Even for this one, I think you can even go further actually. So what you need to do is you can select either column three or column five. Let's just try column five. So, so generally people just kind of type it out so I kind of know where to expect. So I just put this in the middle. So I can kind of drag this all the way to the left. This one as well. This one, I think you can see that the more I drag it, you can kind of see how it's being dragged further and further away. So I think this one should be able to, oh, okay. Yeah, I can see like this even go, this goes even long further than uh, the part, uh, the first one I show you. So this is kind of how you can create multiple columns and then just kind of adjust the size. So this is kind of how it can works. And then let me just delete this. And then the last, last one is expand with part two. So this is something similar, but basically I just create three separate columns and then just put a uh, color inside here. So what you can do is, Normally, kind of, I want to check as well, like, kind of make sure you're on the line. Because if I do it here, right, you can see that I'm actually in the middle line. So just want to make sure I'm in the actual line here. And then here, I can just select three columns here. And then kind of see the same thing. So we have this one. And then we can do, like, the same thing. We can just create a call here. And then first, and then I can just duplicate this to make it faster, hopefully. First, second, and then we have third. Uh, you get an idea and then type it out, but... Let me just remove this. And the same thing, you kind of move this around. So once I move it, I kind of see they kind of move uh, according to, like, just align. 
with how I drag it. You can see that I kind of move around. So yeah, this is kind of how you can create this extend part here. So there are a lot of ways you can kind of play around notions of how you can create it. But yeah, hope you find this uh, video helpful. If you find it helpful, just help it like, like and subscribe. And then if you have any ideas on what kind of videos you want me to make, so feel free to let me know in the comments below. So yeah, thank you.